Hi everyone, it's the Nature Guy again. We're out uh, just off the boardwalk behind me here, not too far from Lake Schellenberger at Campus Oval. Today I want to tell you about the largest plant that grows at Campus Oval. So why am I down here on my knees? Shouldn't we be talking about a great big tree? Well, trees are very tall, and in fact the tallest trees on camp are the eastern white pine, but that's not what I want to talk to you about. I want to talk to you about this carpet here. This is stiff club moss. And I'm going to pick one little branch of it here. Oh, it turns out it's, it, it's all connected. So these underground stems shoot up these little leaves that look like little tiny pine trees. That's what kids often call them. But this is stiff club moss. And it all has these underground stems. This whole thing that you can see in the background here is one plant. It's the largest around plant that we have at Campus Sobel. Even though the leaves are really quite small and it's not a tall tree, it grows to a huge thing. It actually grows under the boardwalk and out the other side. And I'm over here by the chapel in the woods and the trail cuts right through that. And there's more on that side. It's about 200 feet across. That's the largest plant at Campus Sobel. Now club mosses are interesting. They don't have flowers. And they're kind of like ferns in a way because they produce spores. And I'm going to pick a little different one here. This one here, you can see just that little, almost like a little cone on top. And that little cone produces spores, which are just microscopic, just like dust. And when they're released, they float through the air and land somewhere else and grow another huge plant eventually. Now this is very slow growing. It doesn't grow very much every year. And that's part of its problem. Uh, years ago, um, Settlers and so forth used to pick this stuff and weave it together because it's long and, and viney and they used to make Christmas wreaths and they started doing that for a long time But they grow slower than they were getting picked and so eventually some of these became uh, Very scarce in many areas. They were very uncommon plant for a while Well, we don't do that anymore pick all of this uh, club moss and, and make wreaths out of it and so the plants are growing better and bigger, and some of them are really huge. So that's the largest plant, largest around plant at Campus Oval. Now, it is interesting that something, the individual pieces are kind of small, but connected together, they make a huge mass. And that's just what the Bible talks about each of us. We are just individuals. I don't know that any of us can really change the whole world by ourselves. But if we work together on things, we can accomplish huge things. And that's what God wants us to do every day. Thanks for listening. Hey, welcome back to part two of our story about club mosses. We came inside because for this part of the demonstration, I don't want to be outside in the breeze. So I've got a jar here of those spores we were talking about. They're just really small. It takes a lot of little cones of club moss to get a little bottle like this. But these spores are really interesting. Now it turns out that in this illustration, I'm going to represent this as being God. And sometimes we don't, we're not very fair with God. Sometimes we put God in a little bottle and put it up on the shelf. And he's nice to have up there and handy. When we need him, we bring him down. And then when we're done, we put him back up. God wants to be part of our lives all of the time. And he can change our lives and make us so much more than we are. And for this illustration, I'm going to pretend that that's us, just a little wee flame. That little flame by itself, we can't do too much without God. But when we add God to our little flame, Watch what happens. So I'm just going to take some of this, not all of it. I'll take some of this, pour it into my hand here. And if you can see, just kind of pour some of that powder. It looks just like yellow powder. Remember now, this is representing God. And this is representing us, this little flame. But when we add God to the flame, watch what happens. Whoa! We get transformed. We can do so much more with God. You want to see that one again? Here we go. This is fun, but dangerous. Don't try this at home. I'm a professional. Here's God. Here's us. When we add God to us, whoa, 
so much more can happen. Now, this illustration has a problem because it only lasts for a second or two. But if we keep God in our, li in our lives, that can last us a lifetime. And when we go to heaven, last us eternity. It won't burn out. God wants to be with us all the time. And what a neat lesson to learn from a very big plant at Campus Sobel. Thank you very much for listening.